we've got amazing staff, um, even with athletic director to Coach D to the, you know, all the position coaches and all the players that they brought in. So, I mean, it just kind of goes to show you what kind of, you know, coach Coach D is and what he's done since the past, whatever, five years or four and a half years I've been here. Did they do anything offensively that you hadn't seen on film? Uh, not really. They covered pretty much everything. Is that everything surprising to you after what happened last year? Uh, not really. I mean, they're going to they're gonna play their game, we're going to play our game. I was going to ask you this earlier in the week, but now that you won, you know, do you see this shift or the culture of this rivalry changing a little bit in terms of where you guys are and where Michigan is? Uh, I mean, I guess we're on we're on top right now. Um, you know, not, we can't let that ever slip away. We got to keep coming out, you know, enthusiastic and understanding what how big this rivalry is, and you know that you know down the road they get a win or two or whatever, they're gonna they're they're gonna think they have the upper hand, and we can't ever allow that. Marcus, I apologize. I'm sure you're gonna ask this, but did you see what the actual object was that got thrown into the ground? I can't Not really. Out what it I don't was. know what it was. Just was like Something. a wooden thing, like a yeah. stick. I don't know. It could have been a stick. Probably. So everybody noticed it when it happened. Yeah, I mean, it's obvious. This, like, it was just obvious out in front of you. Yeah, guys. They, we couldn't see it there. No one even knew what happened. In the yeah, I mean, they, I mean, they just came out and or faced us. So I mean, obviously, we're gonna notice it. But where did it land? It was when they came out of the tunnel. Uh, they came out of the tunnel, and then I think they, they jabbed it in the ground right in front of us. I don't know, try to. Their, the point of it was. While well, you guys were on your side line? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so other than that, was this game a game of disrespect out there? I mean, what was, you know, uh, was it nasty? I mean, I know it's always a rivalry game, but it feels like, it seems like some people talk about the game that there was a lot of disrespect. I mean, I don't, you can call it what you want. I mean, it's just, it's part of the rivalry game. I mean, there, I mean you gotta, I don't know, like, they can disrespect do whatever they want, but we're playing our game, and uh, we know what what uh, we got to do on the field. And you know, either way, we're going to be you know respectful towards them, whatever they pull. But um, you know, that's just part of who Michigan State is. Marcus said that the worst feeling in the world would be losing to Michigan your senior season. Yeah, so what's this feeling like? <laughs> It's an amazing feeling. Uh, I mean, I'm looking down when I, you know, whenever I get when I get older. Um, you know, it's my last Michigan playing against Michigan, and to be able to walk away with a win and not having to have that feeling with a loss to Michigan would, you know, that would have been awful. But you know, having this win, and having a good performance as a defense, it makes it even sweeter. Marcus, as an Ohio guy, are you almost glad you have more time to to you know, I guess enjoy this one before you start gearing up for that one. Yeah, I think so. I think more so than so guys can get, you know, uh, healed up and whatever. Anyone that has anything wrong with them, they can get that healed up, rest on it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's always nice to have another week or so to, you know, prep for a team like Ohio State because they're definitely a good team. Sorry, who's Gardner on scouting? Uh...